I'm going to show you now how to use the VLOOKUP. Now VLOOKUP is an Excel function. VLOOKUP means vertical function. And the vertical lookup means that it's going to look up something vertically in a column. So it looks up a value in a column and then returns a value in another column. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'll show you now. So, for example, here we have some subjects and marks for a student. And we've got the subjects going down here. Their marks are going down there. Here is where we're going to look up the subject and automatically tell us what the mark is based on what we've looked up in that subject. So, let's, for example, go here and type the word English. I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function in cell E2 to look up the word English in this table over here. It's going to find the word English and then it's going to tell me what the mark was for English. And that's what the VLOOKUP is for. So here we go. I'm going to type it out first and then I'll show you how to use the wizard. So we go equals VLOOKUP. What am I looking up? What value am I looking up? Well, I'm looking up the word English. Again, we use cell references as much as possible. So there is the lookup value done. I'm looking up whatever is in cell D2. The table array. So I've told it what to look for. Now, where? Where am I looking? I'm looking here. So there's all my subjects. There's all the marks. That's my table array. I'm going to press the F4 key. Whoops, that was F5. I'm going to press the F4 key to make my range um, absolute. Okay, fixed. Next is the column index number. In other words, uh, where which column is the answer in? Which column is the mark in? Is it the first column or the second column? And we're not talking about column A, column B, column C, because this table could be anywhere. So it's the second column in my selection. Here's the first column in my selection. Here's the second column in my selection. It's the second column that I want. So that's my column index number. Index number is 2. The last one is, am I looking for an approximate match, which is true, or am I looking for an exact match, which is false. In other words, is it a range that I'm searching, a range of numbers, or is it an exact answer that I require? In this situation, the range lookup is false because I need an exact match. I need to know exactly what is the mark for English. I'm not looking up any range of numbers. That will do in the next video. So finish that off there and let's have a look. Perfect. I've typed the word English in there and there is the mark there. If I type in, uh, let's do maths, for example, and press enter, you'll notice that that has changed automatically. Just to recap, the VLOOKUP function, the lookup value is what am I looking up? The table array is where am I looking it up? The column index number is which column is the answer in? And the range lookup is, is it a range of numbers or is it an exact match that I'm looking for? And that's true or false. And that is the V lookup.